Let's take a look at the second half highlights. A good third quarter for these Roosevelt Rough Riders. You saw Riddell hit one. Matt Ang kept hitting him from the outside. But it was Abraham Kambara who led the scoring for Roosevelt. Well, he just had a complete game. I mean, you, you mentioned the scoring, but had a couple assists, was great defensively with three steals. But I tell you, O'Gorman made a great push in the fourth quarter. They had the ball down five, a chance to really close this thing up after being down 17. It was, looked like it was out of range for a while there. You said a 17 point lead for Riders, but then Gavin Muirhead flushed one. He got an and one opportunity on the inside and they started tightening things up at the end. Had a chance within a couple of possessions, but the Riders sealed it with that shot from Hayden Goff yep. and getting it done from the strike. Yeah, that was a huge one for Goff, who also had a big game. He was second in scoring with 13 points tonight, so you got him with 13, and Riddell as well with 12 for Roosevelt. They had three players in double figures, and uh, as you look at our final stats here, I think a couple telling things here. First of all, Roosevelt winning the points in the paint tells me a couple things. They competed well against O'Gorman's bigs, but they were able to get downhill. Roosevelt was able to get in the paint and score with their guards, too. Great job with some dribble penetration and getting in there. And then the other piece of this, I think Roosevelt doing a great job with their defensive pressure, forcing 18 turnovers and then turning that into points, too. Well, coming into the game, you thought maybe the points in the paint would favor the Knights. Absolutely. And the Riders showing they can play that game with anybody.